This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 456, Always Dominate Monday, and Is It Really Worth It? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com, and I'm your narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Monday. Hope you have your taxes done for those of you in the US. Welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook. I have two shorter articles for you today, both from Nerd Fitness. But before we get to those, a big thank you to Design Crowd for their support. Design Crowd is a website that helps entrepreneurs, startups, and small businesses, from accountants and dentists to photographers, personal trainers, and consultants, outsource or crowdsource custom logo, business card, and web design from designers around the world. For a special $100 VIP offer for our listeners, check out designcrowd.com slash health to learn more and save up to $100 when you start your next project. Again, that's D-E-S-I-G-N-C-R-O-W-D dot com forward slash health or simply enter the discount code health when posting a project on Design Crowd. All right, let's jump right in. Let's get to today's two posts as we optimize your life. Always Dominate Monday by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Mondays are tough. After an epic weekend of rest and relaxation or drinking and debauchery, that internal alarm clock always seems to wake you up far too early. The temporary relief from seven minutes of snoozing quickly turns into half an hour. Arriving 15 minutes late to work, using the side door, of course, your first few hours are spent messing around on the internet rather than getting anything productive done. Your food or drink hangover from the weekend carries over to your meal choices for the day, and just this once fast food is your choice. After work, working out is the last thing on your mind as the day has already felt like a waste. Come 11 p.m., you are lying in bed and you finally come to the realization that you know all too well. I didn't really do anything today. No more. Today, I'm going to issue a challenge that will change the outcome of your week every week. Always dominate Monday. Why Monday is crucial. Never underestimate the power of momentum. It will work for you if you let it, but it will also work against you if you let it. Let's look at a bad Monday. If you skipped your workout on Monday, it will be so much easier to skip your workout on Tuesday. Since you probably took Saturday and Sunday off, and maybe even Friday, Monday quickly becomes the most important day of the week. You didn't really eat healthfully on Monday, which means it's easier to tell yourself, meh, I can start tomorrow, and not eat well on Tuesday or Wednesday. When your Monday routine is thrown off, you might forego your routine for the rest of the week, which results in, well, I already missed a day, no point in starting a day late, I'll try again next Monday. If you snooze on Monday, then snoozing on Tuesday is just a little bit easier. You are unproductive on Monday, which stresses you out, and you have to play catch-up during the rest of the week. Instead, you dominated your Monday workout, setting the tone for workout domination for the whole week. Your self-dialogue may sound something like, this week, I'm going to hit new records with my workouts. I already kicked ass on Monday, let's keep it up. Let's say you dominated your Monday with healthy food choices and meals, setting the tone for continued healthy eating all week. Now your brain permanently stays in the I'm making healthy choices this week mode. Let's say you popped right out of bed on Monday without snoozing. So snoozing becomes less of an issue with each passing day. It's not a question of willpower. It's just what you do. Let's say you're incredibly productive on Monday, which makes the rest of your week much less stressful. So stop sucking and start dominating. Slackers versus Rebels. I want to tell you the tale of two groups, slackers and nerd fitness rebels. Slackers skip Monday workouts because they didn't have time. Rebels make exercise a priority and plan their day around their workout. Slackers let their food hangover sabotage Monday. Rebels make extra sure their Monday calories are healthy. Slackers waste their Mondays with unproductive behavior. Rebels suck it up and turn Monday into the most productive day of the week. Slackers snooze. Rebels get out of bed and get their workouts done before the rest of the household is awake. Slackers complain. Rebels shut up and take care of business. Slackers find excuses. Rebels find solutions. Slackers suck. Rebels dominate. How to dominate Monday. I challenge you today to start looking at Mondays differently. 
It's not the start of a long week. It's not the worst day of the week. Monday is the most important day of the week. So do it right. Here's how. Plan out your meals for Monday on Sunday night. Where, when, and what will you eat? Can you prepare any of that the night before? Plan out your workouts for the week and put them in your calendar. How many sets, reps, what time and where? Get specific. Put your alarm clock across the room. Set it for the correct time you need to wake up. And when it goes off, get up. Go to the office on time and get through one important task before checking email. So, are you a slacker or a rebel? Now, I have another post from Steve, but first, a big thank you again to Design Crowd for their support. Design Crowd is a website that helps entrepreneurs and small businesses, from accountants and dentists to photographers, personal trainers, and more, outsource or crowdsource custom logo, business card, and web design. Get the perfect custom design every time. For a special $100 VIP offer just for our listeners, check out designcrowd.com slash health to learn more and save up to $100 when you start your next project. So if you have no idea what this all means, it's really simple. You post a brief description of the design you need. Then Design Crowd will invite its 600,000 plus designers to submit and within hours, you'll receive your first design. Over the course of three to 10 days, you'll likely have 60 to 100 or more different designs from designers around the world, and you get to pick the best one and approve payment. If you don't find a design you like, no worries. Design Crowd has a money-back guarantee. So again, for that $100 VIP offer, come by designcrowd.com slash health. That's D-E-S-I-G-N-C-R-O-W-D dot com forward slash health, or simply enter the discount code health when posting a project on Design Crowd. Is It Really Worth It? by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. It will require commitment and dedication. It will require you to say no sometimes. It will require sacrifice. It won't be quick. It won't be easy. It won't be fun all the time. Your friends will laugh at you for doing things differently. Your coworkers will gawk and poke fun at your new eating habits. Your loved ones will call you crazy and ask you to be normal. You will have to change some habits. You will want to give up. You will want to go back to bed. You will want to say, eh, good enough. And you will ask yourself, is this really worth it? You're right it is. Because you will feel great when you set a new record for push-ups. You will let out a rebel yell when doing your first pull-up. You will feel awesome running faster this week than last week. You will be amazed at how far you've come when looking at old pictures. You will feel good when people ask, have you been working out? You will smile when your kids say, I wanna be strong like you. You will be surprised when people come to you for fitness advice. You will feel pride when you look at yourself in the mirror. You will go to sleep knowing that you're a better person today than you were yesterday. It is worth it. You just listened to the posts titled Always Dominate Monday and Is It Really Worth It? Both by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. See, I didn't even need to give you an inspirational quote today. Both of those posts were so inspiring, Steve took care of it for me. I love reading his How to Dominate Monday post. I'm recording this on a Monday, in fact, and having missed the workout this morning, I already feel my brain just not performing at the same level it's used to. My body doesn't feel quite as energized. My body, I feel like, is missing it. And after reading his post to you, I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing as soon as I'm done recording. I'm gonna go get that workout in. Now, I wasn't always this way, but I do look forward to Mondays now because I do see it as a fresh start. It's a whole new week or a clean slate where I can try and do better. Now, again, this wasn't always the case for me. I used to dread Mondays, especially when I worked at a job I didn't like. But nowadays, I see it again as a fresh start a week full of optimism. And I hope after listening to this, you feel that way too. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you as always for listening every day. I'll be back tomorrow as usual, but with another two posts. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. 
If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember your optimal life awaits.